Our studios have been visited by all sorts of guests over the years. Tonight, Brian Mastry talked to some people who years ago filled this studio with ghosts of Christmas cheer. Yeah, I remember this. Not everyone looks back at their high school days with funds. It's rare to have an hour of those formative years uncovered, though, decades later. It was just a really fun thing. Um, I do remember that and felt really privileged to be a part of it. The year 1965. Merry Christmas, Uncle. God save you. The production? A Christmas Carol, the Charles Dickens classic. The actors? Students at Creighton Prep. The actresses? From Duchenne Academy. And pay for the rest of my days. Ebenezer Scrooge, the bitter old miser, played by a 17 year old Joe Vacanti. Well, I just remember being scared out of my wits when I found out that I got the part of Scrooge. I am the ghost of Christmas present. What also added to any existing anxiety? This performance was recorded live inside our TV studio. We were called WOW then. This is what we aired 49 years ago. I just remember coming into the studio and it being overwhelming. To open their shut up hearts. But beyond that, today, John Seminara, who played Scrooge's nephew, needed a refresher course on his role after five decades have passed. I asked Joe, I said, now, was I the one with the limp? No, he says, you were the nephew. I go, he didn't have a limp. I was the ghost of uh, Christmas Future. Non-speaking part, all I did was point, but it was one of the best points I've ever had. <laughs> I fear you more than any specter I have seen. Even without a line, Frank Merwald credits his days in high school, shaping him to become a Hollywood TV producer. It had a lot to do with me getting in the entertainment business. Time for balancing your books. As for the lead role, did he become an actor? What did you end up doing for your life? An accountant. Accountant. I think Scrooge was a... Uh, that's what Scrooge was. <laughs> I don't think this had any, any real bearing on what I chose for uh, my profession. But <laughs> Nearly 50 years later, even among his peers, it's hard for Scrooge to get away from those two words. Thought it sounded like a little kid rather than an old wizened man. With photographer Jim Hinchek, Brian Mastry, WWT6 News. I think he's still got it. He does. Sounds <laughs> just like the original. Even an accountant. Hey, uh, now you're left asking, can I see the show? Well, the answer is yes. We aired it originally in 1965, and we will do it again tomorrow night after 10 at 10. It is an hour-long show, no commercials, 1030 Christmas Eve night. And by the way, this could not have happened if not for one cast member, Joe DeMott, pictured behind us here on the right. His mother was a drama teacher and made the broadcast happen in 65. Uh, Marie Ryan DeMott passed away in October last year, and her son Joe had the program transferred to DVD, ended it up in our hands, and we saw the opportunity to share it with you, all of you, tomorrow night.